moments in your life that you feel overwhelmed by life, by people, by your own issues, by your own circumstances, by demands, by struggles. You're going to fail and you're going to be in your head. You're going to be saying, I'm not good enough. Life has a way of humbling you. Life will make you shut up. Life will mute you. Shut you down. Because all of us, if you live long enough, will go through a period of feeling so overwhelmed that you think of one more thing, if the phone rings one more time, if I get a, another text, if I get another email, and sooner or later you feel, oh God, just get me out of this. At times you won't want to come out of the house. At times you'll be feeling bad and don't know why what's wrong. I don't know. Just leave me alone. Why did that happen? I don't know. It's called life. And you have to deal with it. Don't you give up on your dream. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you quit. The part of beginning to get unstuck, you've got to decide that the behavior pattern that you have adopted doesn't work for you. You've got to change your strategies. And changing your strategy means reinventing your life. Recreating you. And you have the power to do that. You want to take responsibility for your life. You can decide that you're going to change, that you're not going to be a wimp. I got me here, I can get me out of this. And I'm getting out. I'm not going to be a volunteer victim. You can decide that you're going to stand up to life. You can permit it to let it hold you down or you can decide I'm not going to let that happen to me. I'm bigger than this. You can decide that I'm going to live each day as if it were my last. You can decide I'm going to work on myself and develop myself. I'm going to empower me. And all of these things that are happening to me right now, they're just temporary inconveniences. They're not stronger than I am. I'm in charge here. I am not phenomenally skilled, but phenomenally real. I will not give up. I will not surrender. I will not quit. It is a phenomenal will that says every time I get knocked down, I will get back up and I will succeed. I will not surrender. I need you to match whatever effort the enemy is putting up. Whoever your enemy is, match the dog on effort. The only thing you got as a man, your character, your integrity, and what you stand for, what you say, what it means to you. If there's any fear in your spirit right now, it ain't for you. This sh for warriors, man. This sh for soldiers, man. To him who much is given, much is required. You cannot build anything that won't bring a battle. And if you're going through a battle right now, it's only because you're building something. Your pain ain't permanent. It might last for a second. It might last for a minute. It might last for an hour. It might last for a week. It might last for months. But sooner or later, if you do not surrender, if you do not give up, if you do not give in, it will subside. You can talk like a victim. You can act like a victim. Or you could be a victor. And you can say, despite the odds, I will defy the odds. What will you do with your pain? Will you let it break you? Or will you let it redefine you? You've got to continue to work on yourself personally. You've got to decide to be relentless. You've got to decide never to give up. You've got to find some reasons within yourself that will give you the stamina when life catches you on the blind side to get back up again, to keep on calling and coming back again and again and again. You gonna quit or you gonna make it to your silver? You gonna quit or you gonna make it to your goal? Because life is a fight. It's a fight for integrity. It's a fight for character. It's a fight for a good reputation, your goals, your dreams, your ambitions, because they don't give you those things when you're born. So every morning, I've got to wake up and I've got to fight. I got to fight for my dreams. I got to fight for character. I got to fight for integrity. But to win fights, you got to have stamina. You got to be ready to fight and bounce back. Punch and counter punch. Jab and jab back. You better not feel sorry for yourself. You better not lay down and quit. You better to get up and fight because a happy spirit does a body good like mess. Shark the hundreds and predators, they never stop swimming. In fact, if a shark stops swimming, it will die. If a shark goes backwards, it will die. Think like a shark, act like a shark, and behave like a shark. I'm going to think, I'm going to execute, and I'm going to win. I'm going to execute what I've been trained to do. You got to chase it like a man possessed. You got to go get it. And that's how you get to the next level. 
You have to be disciplined every single day and train yourself to follow through on all your fundamentals and that's how you're going to be successful. You have to do it when you don't feel like it. You have to do it when you feel discouraged. You have to do it when you don't feel healthy. You have to do it when you're under the weather. Every single day, you have to train yourself to focus and commit to your business and follow through. And don't you quit. Now, a few of you know what it is to have something to so scald you, so burn you, so beat you, so pulverize you, that your fight goes out of you. And you're so scattered and so broken and so fragmented that you don't even know whether you could ever live again or whether you will ever smile again or whether you will ever live to fight another day or whether you'll be able to pull yourself together just to fake a smile for a few minutes in front of people to say, I'm doing okay, knowing you're lying on the inside. I'm talking about going through so much that something inside of you dies. And you wonder, can I get back up again? In that moment when life comes at you the fucking hardest, you will panic and you will forget who the fuck you are. Success will taste stressful because your opportunities come wrapped in opposition. Opportunity comes in chaos. It is good to be uncomfortable. I've never met anybody who was terribly creative or gifted or strong in leadership who was also comfortable. Those exceptional people who are uncomfortable with the times and rise to the challenge because they refuse to allow the chaos around them to determine the conqueror within them. People who resist the toll to go down and stand fiercely in spite of opposition and say, I'm going to do it anyway. I don't care what it is. I don't care how many times you've had to cry yourself to sleep. I don't care how difficult it is. Don't you dare give up now. Because whatever is over you defines you. And whatever defines you limits you. You better put some strength in your back, plant your feet, square your shoulders, and stand up to it. Don't you dare sit down. Don't you dare crumble under the weight of it. Don't you dare give in because of the nature of it. Don't you dare go home and raise the white flag of surrender. This is not your season to die. This is not your season to quit. There's joy, there's peace, there's breakthrough, but you'll never see it if you don't stand up to it. I'm not trying to veer to the left or veer to the right or gradually get it together. I'm getting ready to do something so radical and so massive. I'm going to turn the whole thing 180 degrees. And when that thing tells you to quit, you look at it in his eye and say, I ain't going nowhere. I will break you before you break me. I will break you. You will not defeat me. You will not destroy me. You can't take me. You will not break me. You will not stop me. You will not defeat me. The only way I lose is if I quit. It's going to be a dog fight. You can contain it for a while, but you cannot stop this. You can't stop it. You've been through so much hell. You won't quit now. Don't cry to give up. Cry to keep going. Sometimes in life, you have to hit back. Allow your pain to push you to greatness. I've been broken so much. I've been defeated so much. I've been disappointed so much in my life that I know what it feels like and I can't handle it. And when you get to success, it's not about skill. When you get to a certain level of success, it's about stamina. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Once you get to that point, you cannot be broken anymore. Don't get your dog on stuff. And don't let nobody tell you no. Don't run from the chaos. Stand still and let the chaos run from you. Emotional storms, you can find yourself stressed out. An emotional storm, you can find yourself depressed, mentally fragile because of the experiences, the turbulence that you have gone through. The state of this world can have you in a state of confusion and, and a heavy cloud over your life. It's very depressing. A storm is going to come. I don't care who you are. No one is exempt. It's called life, ladies and gentlemen. So how do you handle it when you're in the storm? You must have faith. You must have the faith to call forth those things that be not as though they were. 
the strength and the courage to make it through, the enduring power, the ability to persevere, to handle it, it will pad you. The inner power to overcome, to come back again. So in order to begin to prepare for the storm, you've got to go within and start working on yourself. You've got to get grounded. You've got to train your mind to serve you. Meditation is one of the ways in which you can do that. Reading is one of the ways that you can do that. Listening to music is one of the ways that you can do that. Exercise is one of the ways in which you can do that. Things that you can do to still your mind, to clear your thoughts so you can think. I had a program for myself. I have books that I read that inspire me, tapes that I listen to that fire me up. Because you're going to have sometimes low moments when you won't want to get out of bed. You just want to stay there. There are times you won't want to come out the house. There are times you'll be feeling bad and don't know why. What's wrong? I don't know. Just leave me alone. The first tendency is to panic. When they said, your mother has breast cancer. I panicked immediately. I start grieving and crying. I fell out of God's own God. I can't handle this. I never thought this day would come. I can't deal with this pain. You got to talk to yourself sometimes. You hear me? You got to talk to yourself. And yes, I was scared. Leslie, get up. Get up, Leslie, get up. Come on, man. It's easy to have faith when mama's got her health and all is well. Come on, get up and come to the house. She needs us now. Come on, dear man. Come on in this room and face it. Be still. And know that all is well. To pull this through. And I made up my mind. I don't care what it takes. I don't care how many speeches I have to give, how many seminars I have to give. I know I ain't got the money. I know I don't have the education. But I ain't going to let that stop me. I'm going to do it. And yes, it's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult. And you get more no's than you do yes. But when you hold out, things will begin to happen. You won't even understand how. See what the storm does, ladies and gentlemen. It empowers you. It strengthens you. When you go through a storm, when you come through that kind of experience and able to reclaim your life, you come back with a certain kind of power and you'll never be the same again after that experience. There are certain things when you go through those things and you come up out of those things, you come up a different kind of person, different spirit, different power, different energy that builds character. Don't ever say when you're going through some rough time, I'm going through a really bad, tragic time. No. See, I'm going through a character building experience. Tough times never last, but tough people do. You should take pride in wanting to quit and not quitting. Hey, it's really hard right now, dude. You're really struggling right now. But here's the thing. Right now is when everybody else quits. Right now is when everybody else is going to fall behind. Right now is when everybody else decides to do something that's easier or faster or not as hard. And that's what gets you ahead. That's what gets you to have pride. Because those struggles, those feelings, those things that are difficult, they are there to test you. This pain, this conflict, this tragedy, this tribulation is the test. Don't fail it. Stay strong. Don't ever quit. Struggle is a privilege. Hardship is a privilege because those struggles, those hardships, those things that you face will turn you into an unstoppable motherfucking machine. So if you want to create super high confidence, super high self-esteem, super high momentum, that feeling I'm super powerful, I'm invincible, I'm the fucking man or I'm the fucking woman, you have to take pride in not quitting when other people are going to quit. You have to take pride in executing your job to the very best of your ability when everything around you is going wrong. That's what gets you out of the storm. You can't just focus on this moment. You've got to hold the vision. Hold the vision of things improving. Hold the vision of your health coming back. Hold the vision of being financially independent and debt free. Hold the vision of your relationships working out. Hold the vision of everything being all right because it'll give you power, give you strength, give you faith, give you patience, give you perseverance. It'll give you the ability to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. And when you discipline your emotions and you don't allow them to control you, when you tell yourself, I'm in charge here, I set the course for my life, these storms that I face, they do not have power over me. When you declare that to yourself, the limits for you become non-existent. Success is often not a loud event. It's those silent walks to the gym every single day. It's the silent commute to work every single day. 
It's the early mornings, late nights, where you grind when everyone else has gone home every single day. You don't have to say anything. You don't have to make any noise. You don't have to grunt. You don't have to groan. You don't have to scream. You don't have to yell. What you have to do is get the job done. In the unseen work is where you're trying to create that masterpiece. And that masterpiece is yourself. All that hard work goes in when no one is watching. There's no crowds. There's no cheering sections. All that shit. It's just you against you. And you have this rock, which is yourself. And you go through and you start to just chip away at these rough edges. Every fucking morning, you don't want to get up. You don't want to go for that run. You don't want to go to school. And each day, you fight that urge to stay in bed. But you still fucking get up. You chip away at another rough edge. And over a period of time, you begin to form that masterpiece. When we look at the masters, when we look at the best business people, we say she's gifted, she's smarter than me. She just somehow knows more than me. She's got a better education. She had an easier background. She got lucky. You've heard the cliche because it's true. The harder I work, the luckier I get. They don't see these when they're what they deal with every fucking day. I'm not good enough. Shouldn't it be here? Shouldn't it be here? Because every day, even though they're fucking the best in the world, that little motherfucker is still in there saying, oh man, we're not good enough. I'm not the strongest guy, I'm not the fastest guy, I'm not the smartest guy, but I will work and I will work hard. I will be up when my competitors asleep, I will be up when my enemy is curled up in bed, I will be up getting after it. The masters make the hardest things in the world look easiest. And in the moments where you push yourself, those moments tend to lead to success. But you've got to stop rationalizing. Stop making excuses. Stop telling yourself little watered-down assessments of where you're really at. Tell yourself the truth. And the truth shall set you free. And the truth that I had to come to grips with, that I wasn't in charge of my destiny. The truth was that I wasn't giving all that I had. The truth was that there are some things that I I wanted to do, but I didn't have the courage to act on those things. I had to start looking at my life differently. I started going to work earlier. I started being the last one to leave there. I started working harder than anybody else. The other guys could not. Why would you work so hard, Les? I've been cheating myself and my family. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, do it with everything that you have. Develop the habit of giving more than what you're paid for. Develop the habit of setting standards that others will be measured by. Do not go where the path may lead, but go where there's no path and leave a trail. I guarantee you, when you do it, nobody can do it like you do it. The problem is you don't hardly do it. You love sleep too much. You love that alcohol too much. You love that substance too much. You love that vice too much. There's something that you love more than yourself, than your dream, than your goals. And if you're going to make it happen, everything in the world has to become secondary. You've got to become obsessed to the point where people think you're crazy. You discipline yourself every day to do what is required. You sweat, you suffer, you endure, and at the end of it all, you win. If you can't right now, there's no one looking at it. How you hold yourself, how you see yourself. What do you do when no one's watching? If you do it then, I guarantee you, you'll be doing it when everyone's watching. If today you never say good enough, tomorrow you'll always have enough. You don't become what you want. You become where your habits take you. Nothing's ever gonna be given to you. Everything's gonna be earned. If you don't go out there and put in the work, you don't go out and put in the effort, one, you're not gonna get the results, but two, more importantly, you don't deserve it. You didn't earn it. There's certain things you want out of life. You want the finest things, but you're not willing to work for them. You cry about, you don't get this opportunity, you don't get this break, but you're not positioning yourself. And you're still trying to get a handout. You gotta work. It wouldn't be fair if just anybody could just get a degree and not have to work. Because guess what it would mean? It would mean your degree is worth nothing. If other people didn't have to work hard, didn't have to sweat, didn't have to stay up all night, didn't have to do research, didn't have to go to the library, didn't have to sacrifice sleep, didn't have to make sacrifices in life. If everybody just threw out degrees, they wouldn't be worth anything. You see, the only difference between the one who quits and the one who doesn't is that they showed up every day. They worked hard every day. They hustled every day. They improved every day they did all this even though they felt like quitting every day you're putting in the work and the only reason you piss 
The only reason you quit is not because you want to quit, because you keep looking up and you say, we three in, who cares what you are? If you keep going, you're going to break through. The only people that don't break through are the people who scoreboard watching. That's the problem with some of y'all. You stopping working to look at yourself. You not grinding. You glaring. You should be grinding and you looking at the score. The score is what it is. The score ain't about to change because you looked at it. Keep playing the game. Keep grinding. Keep working. And that other stuff will take care of itself. Wake up every single day. And if the opportunity to work out is there, work out. If the opportunity is there to read, read. Because you got to tell the flesh who's in control. I'm in control. You're not in control. I know you don't want to wake up. You don't have an option. Get up. We trying to eat. There's a certain lifestyle we want. You look at any person who's done anything great in this world, they've had to be fully committed. Any goal that you want to achieve that's worthwhile in your life requires you to go all the f*** in. I mean, jump the f*** in the pool, head first, don't f***ing worry about the what ifs, and make yourself f***ing swim. We're all being tested, and that road to success is a bumpy ass f***ing road. Has f***ing potholes, rails, detours, and sh**. A lot of you are going to die in a nicely preserved body. No plates, no bad knees, no bruises, no scars. You also have an empty f***ing resume. Don't be afraid to get scars. The scars show your willingness to get to the other side. They show your failures. They show your willingness to start from scratch. They show what you're willing to do to go the distance to see what you're capable of. And there's a big difference between 99 and 100%. And to find that last 1%, it takes ignoring your personal desires and comfort. If you're able to endure when all around you says stop, you will find that 1%. It's a commitment, not a feeling. When you get up in the morning, you don't give yourself a choice. You grind, no matter what. When you're just not feeling it, you gotta force yourself. When your feelings tell you no, you tell them to shut the f*** up. You don't want to get up and get out of bed, you get up and get the f*** out of bed. You don't want to study, you f***ing study. You don't want to get to work, you get to f***ing work. When everything in you is kicking and screaming, you have to take control and tell yourself, I do not stop. I'm not going to sit around and wait for good things to happen to me. I'm going to grind. I'm going to fight. I'm going to do everything in my power to become the very best version of me. When you do the things most people aren't willing to do, you'll live the life most people never will. When you look back after working your ass off, you will see every challenge, all the knockdowns, breakdowns, and every bit of the pain and daily struggles will all be fucking worth it. I'm speaking to the people who want more. The people who want to be the fucking pinnacle. The people who want to be accomplished. The people who want to make a fucking difference. You guys are going to have to go all the fuck in. Make a 100% commitment to give the best effort you've ever given to outwork, out improve, out strategize, outlast like never before. You can't be motivated anymore. You don't need others to motivate you. You have to be self-motivated. You can't listen to your mom. You can't listen to your dad. You can't listen to your friends. You can't listen to the fucking internet. You can't stick your fucking toe in the pool and say, oh, you know, I don't know. This kind of feels weird. No, you have to dedicate every fucking breath, every fucking ounce of energy, and every fucking thought and effort that you possibly have in your heart to becoming what it is you want to be. If you really want to make an impact, you're going to get a lot of judgment. You're going to get a lot of hate. People are going to just diss on you. People are going to say, who do you think you are? If no one thinks you're crazy, you're not yet operating to the outer limits of your potential. I actually appreciate my haters. My haters keep me grinding. I tell them all the time, if you want to pay attention to success, watch me. A lion never negotiates with a hyena. He ain't waking up in the morning and saying, I'm going to go hang out with some hyenas. He ain't going to the same clubs where he know the hyenas don't like him anyway because he don't concern himself with the conversations of hyenas. An eagle flies at a certain altitude, and the only other bird flies at that altitude is another eagle. So if he find himself flocking with pigeons, he may be flying too low. See, sometimes we asking ourselves, why my friends treating me like this? You hanging out with pigeons. Why are they talking about me like this? Man, you hanging out with pigeons. The eagles ain't got time to gossip. Kings don't gossip. Fools party, kings celebrate. 
you got to come out your comfort zone because your comfort zone is the deadliest place you will ever be. You should never feel comfortable. You should be happy and dissatisfied. Your ability to go all in, and when I say all in, I mean all the f- in every moment, every minute, every hour, every day, every week, every month, every fucking year for as long as it fucking takes for you to get where you're going, you should be consumed with that path. If you want to show me you want to win that bad, pack your calendar. You pack your calendar, that's how you show the world that you want to win because everything is based off of activity. It's very hard when you go up against somebody that shows up every flipping day where you sit there and say, take a damn week off, go on vacation. Why don't you slow down for a day or a month or two months or three months? Please, let me catch up. Because Because hungry people, they're just more urgent than everybody else. If I need to learn a skill set today, I'm going to go buy the course today. I'm going to get better at it today. Not tomorrow, not this afternoon, not later on tonight, today. What you do at night matters. What you do in the morning matters. What you do when your friends are out drinking matters. What you do on Saturday matters. What you do on Sunday matters. The success clock doesn't give a fuck what day it is. It's going to run no matter what. And you guys pretend like you can work 7, 8, 10 hours a day and then spend the rest of your time off and you think you're going to be somewhere and you're not. And you're surrounded by people who enable this thought process. Your good friends, your family, people who have experienced accepted mediocrity as a life. Oh, you don't need to work on weekends. Why do you work so hard at night? Why do you get up so early and do that? Why do you train so hard? Why are you reading all these books when we're out drinking beer? When you're obsessed, they're like, why are you going to be so crazy? Why can't you be satisfied? Why do you always got to get things so perfect? Why do you spend so much time here? When you're obsessed, people think you're nuts. Anybody ever tell you, hey, look, just be satisfied with what you got? No, don't believe them. Get them away from me. You should never be satisfied with what you got. You should double your business. Triple it. Because the attempt to get more makes you into something better. Easy never pays well. So if you're thinking that it's just going to be a walk in the park, you're dead fucking wrong. You have to give it every fucking bit of effort and energy you have to pull it off. And you have to work harder than everyone else. Work while they sleep, learn while they party, save while they spend, and live like they dream. You're going to have so many people tell you, you don't have what it takes. How are you? of all people gonna do that. You're being unrealistic. You're not gonna make it. Don't believe a word they say. You're gonna have to block out the noise of everyone around you and focus on yourself. You go after and you give it all you have. If you lose, at least you try, man. I failed. It's 10 times more of a man than someone said, what if? Because what if never went to the arena? In life, it's not the genetic guy who wins, or the guy with the most potential that wins. It's a person with the greatest perseverance that wins. Always willing to get up and go at it again and go at it again. That's the guy who has his hand raised later in life, guys. That's the guy you guys need to be. Every true leader, they're called weird. They're called eccentric. When you do the things of real leadership, you're going to be called strange. Get strong enough in your own skin that when people laugh at you or when they throw stones at you, you keep on going. What are you going to do now? How are you going to control that now? How are you going to flip it upside down and say, Roger that, now I'm going to harness this shit. And you'll read about me years from now. Everybody who wronged you in the past, they gonna have to feel you. They gonna have to see you. Don't get even. Don't worry about getting even when you already beat the odds. You wanna make your dream come true, you gotta stay focused. Some people rather get even than get ahead. Stay focused on where you wanna go. I just kept on doing what I was supposed to do. You have to be relentless. You have to never let off the gas. Never stop, never quit. Never allow anyone to talk you out of the dream, the vision, and ideas that God has sent you. We all get knocked out. I've had my haters. I've had people who've come against me, who try to sabotage me. I'm like the lion. I'm not the gazelle. I don't need something external to motivate me. I find something within. Life gonna whip your butt. Life is gonna bully you. Stop whining. Stop crying. Nobody cares. Be demanding. Let it hit you, but don't let it punk you. Stop letting people affect your day, affect your life. Affect the outcome of what's going to happen to you. Waste no more effort wrestling with other people. Your destiny, your future is not predicated on the decision of someone else. You wasted too much of your life trying to change other people's mind about you. It doesn't matter what they think about you. It matters how you see yourself. The 
fulfillment of your dreams lies within you. It's your home. Protect what's yours. There is nothing in your life that's worthwhile, that's quick and easy. Everything worthwhile is uphill. Does it come to you? You have to fight for it every day. You have to climb for it every day. Which sets up this problem for all of us. You're never going to feel like it. It's your job to make yourself do the crap you don't want to do so you can be everything that you're supposed to be. And you're so damn busy waiting to feel like it. And you're never going to. So I just need you to think about three people in your family that you love. Three people. So what I need you to do for me is I need you to think about those people every day when you're doing what you're doing. Do you have some days where you just want to hit the snooze button? Raise your hand for me. You want to hit the snooze button. So watch this. This is what has to happen. That person that you think about has to be louder than the snooze button. So when you think about Granny, you got to think about, right, do I hit the snooze button or do I get up and make it happen for Granny? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Who are you doing this for? So the days you don't feel like getting up, just think about them. When you think about your siblings, when you think about mom and dad and grandma, when you think about your uncle and aunts, when you think about those people who've been there for you, just raise your hand if you say, E.T., sleep is better than that. When that alarm clock goes off at 4 or 5 in the morning, your mind says no. You just say, this is what we do now. My new norm is, you get up every fucking morning at 4 o'clock and you suffer. That became my new fucking life. Most people want to get out of it. I said, no, motherfucker, this is your new life. This is who you are. It's about executing regardless of your emotions. These test days, they test your fortitude. They test your endurance, your discipline, your grit, your dedication, your determination, your mental toughness at the very moment when everything in you wants to do absolutely nothing. You got to get the job done. Stop having dialogue with your emotions. Stop negotiating with your feelings and start to act. Your mind is a weapon and you got to begin to use it and pick that weapon up and control it. I want to know what the f I'm made of. I want to know what I can overcome. And I know that the harder the task, the harder the obstacle to overcome, the more strength I'm going to gain from it. It's an opportunity to prove that you're a winner. It's an opportunity to prove you are what you say you are in your head when you look in the mirror. When you look in the mirror and you say, there goes a bad motherfucker, you actually believe it. That's the importance of passing these tests. Successful people love the experience of not feeling like doing shit, but then going and kicking ass anyway. They understand that those are the real victories in life. They understand that it's easy to do shit when you feel like doing shit, but they also understand that the real magic, the real glory is earned when your heart is not into something, but your mind tells you, fuck you, I'm going to do this shit anyway, and does it. That's where people separate themselves from the pack. That's where people earn the right to success. They earn the money. They earn the life. They earn the relationship. They earn the body in those little moments where they don't want to do what they need to do, but move forward regardless of how they feel. That's what champions know, champions understand, and champions fucking thrive on. And you don't get here by quitting when you're tired. You get here by quitting when you finish, when you're done. You don't stop when you're tired. You stop when you're done. You stop when you complete it, when you execute it. Execution is worship. All of us, at some time or another, have agonized over making a decision. Some decisions are major decisions. And also there are a lot of small decisions that we don't make, that they tax our minds, they drain our energy, they create a lot of anxiety and nervousness and mental torment because we don't take care of it. We decide not to decide, which is a decision. Imagine you're on your deathbed and standing around your deathbed are the ghosts representing your unfulfilled potential. The ghost of the ideas you never acted on. The ghost of the talents you didn't use. And they're standing around your bed angry, disappointed, and upset. They say we came to you because you could have brought us to life, they say. And now we have to go to the grave together. So I ask you today, 
How many ghosts are going to be around your bed when your time comes? How much time do you spend working on you? How much time do you spend every day working on your dream? What kind of investment have you made in you? If your mentality is, I can't wait to see what happens great to me in 2022, you are going to get fucking sh** as a result. Life does not reward people who wait to see what happens. What you put in, you will get out. So if you want 2022 to actually be different, you have to not only be willing to visualize and manifest, you have to be willing to grit it out. You have to be willing to push through discomfort. Nothing that you're about to try or do or achieve that is worthwhile is going to be comfortable for you during the process of creating it. And I want you to take the word hope and I want you to throw it on the motherfucking ground and I want you to replace it with the word I will fucking do in 2022. Woe be unto you if you go into another year and waste another year with the old mentality while somebody's in the hospital begging God for the opportunity that you have right now. You better step into this moment. You're only here for a short time. If you're not going to show people what's possible, who the fuck else is? Who's going to show your kids? Who's going to show your aunts and uncles? Who's going to show your fucking nieces and nephews? Are you going to fail those people? Are you going to buy into the narrative that you can't? Stand up for your dreams. Stand up for what you want in your life. Decide that your life is so meaningful to you, that you love you and you love life so much that you're going to stand up for something you want. You don't want to be a spectator. You want to get out in the field where the action is and you will be amazed. After the struggle, there will be a calm period and things will begin to click for you. Come out here with what you got. You don't have enough money? Don't worry about it. You got the dream. You must be patient, persistent, and positive no matter what. But aren't there some guarantees you can give us? Yes, you're going to die. You can't get out of life alive. So I'm saying to you, you got six months to live. Live your life now. Live your dreams now. Start acting like this is your last day on the planet. Short-term thinking says the donut tastes good eat it short-term thinking says one workout doesn't matter i can skip it short-term thinking encourages you to make short-term emotional decisions that hurt you in the long run the more short-term decisions you make decisions that are based on that immediate gratification decisions based on quick emotional satisfaction the further from the path you will stray that's why i say you've got to pay attention you have to watch every single second because those seconds turn into minutes and minutes turn into hours and hours turn into days and days turn into years you need tactical wins you need to win battles in order to win the war you need to get out of bed you need to run you need to work out you need to read and study and practice and you need to do things that you don't necessarily want to do and i know that can be hard that's why people lose the war the daily fight is a challenge you will not always want to do what you need to do you will not always feel like doing something you need to do you may not want to fight that battle but you need to you need to know your strategic goals and you need to know why they are important and then you need to get up get out of your damn bed get off your phone get out of the soft and addictive comfort zone and get into the combat zone where you have to fight where you have to dig deep you have to be vigilant you have to be on guard you have to hold the line on the seemingly insignificant little things things that shouldn't matter but things that do you gotta stop telling yourself that you're doing enough you have to do more in life it's never enough until you feel this overwhelming feeling oh shit, man i'm out working the crowd i'm out working everybody i'm doing more once you get there that's when you know you've done enough think strategic all the time. Be
before any action or any inaction. Ask yourself, is this action going to make me stronger or weaker? You have to tell yourself the truth. And the truth is, you have time, you have the skill, you have the knowledge and the willpower and the discipline to get it done. Most people don't ever make it where they want to go because they give themselves mental outs. They can say, oh, this business doesn't make enough money. So they quit. You have to learn to train your brain with a zero options mentality. You have to learn to seek out to be uncomfortable. You have to put yourself in positions where your back is against the wall. That's when you're gonna fucking fight. Through the inspiration of desperation, you'll become more creative than ever before. Throw your whole self into it. See, most people go at it tentatively. They don't give all their stuff. They don't concentrate. And if you don't have what you want, stop telling yourself the story because you don't have the money, you don't have the time. That's bullshit. It's because you haven't committed yourself where you would burn your boats. If you want to take the fucking island, burn your fucking boats and you will take the island because people, when they're going to either die or succeed, tend to succeed. When you don't have any other option but to succeed, your chances of success are pretty fucking good. It is, I am going to fucking succeed no matter what I have to do, no matter how hard it is, no matter how difficult the road, no matter how many obstacles stand in my way, no matter how many people stand in my way, no matter what. On the days I don't feel like it, guess what? I'm still getting up, I'm still putting my fucking work boots on, and I'm still going out and kicking fucking ass that's what people who succeed do the battle the battle is actually in your head you're not gonna hear noises you're not gonna hear gunfire you're not gonna hear any explosions it's not that kind of battle what's in your head is weakness and laziness and they're not attacking they're sneaking around they're poisoning the strength in your brain. You are putting things off because in the short term, it's easier, it's more comfortable, it's more pleasurable to be distracted or to indulge yourself doing something else than it is to sit down and do the actual work to create the outputs that matter when they are needed. And I know what it's like to tell yourself, I'm gonna start on Monday. And then for the next five days, you gorge yourself or you're extra lazy or you treat yourself extra much because you know you're gonna do it this time and this time I'm serious and this time I'm for real and I'm gonna get it done. Except you're not and you know you're not. And if you really want it to change and if you really wanna make a change and you really wanna be different and you really want it to be this time, start fucking now. I don't care if it's nine o'clock at night. Do something productive towards what it is you're trying to become. Because I can tell you right now for sure that the people who tell themselves, I'm going to start Monday, never can start Monday. All you have to do to kill procrastination is just start. You just go and procrastination dies. So don't wonder how you overcome procrastination. It's easy. All you do to overcome procrastination is go. Stop waiting for something to move you and move yourself. Every day, move yourself. In the morning, move yourself. In the afternoon, move yourself. At night, move yourself. Be very intentional and very deliberate about moving yourself. You control your feelings. Don't nobody else control your feelings. So when you tell me I ain't feeling it no more, it don't got nothing to do with something external. It's something internal that you ain't pushing no more. You push you. You got to move you. Every single day, if you get to a point in your day and you down and out, if you get to a point in your day and you exhausted, you get to a point in your day and you're not feeling it, you can stop right there and change the mood. Nothing controls you. You control your feelings. You control your mood. Nobody control your mood. You saw something that threw you off, well, see something that throw you back on. The only way to get out of the mental trap is to stop thinking and actually start doing it. Because all the research shows that if we can push you to get started on something, you'll likely keep going. Little things you're putting off, do it. And do it right now. When you make a decision to do something, you flip your brain onto the frequency that you have to be on to do it. You don't have to know how to do it. You only have to know you're going to do it. Just commit that you wake up 
and every single damn day, you push yourself to take one small action forward. There's always going to be a reason to wait. There's always going to be something that is inconvenient for you to work through. There's always going to be a busy schedule. It's always going to be that way. You have to f***ing work through it. There's always going to be a reason for you to do what it takes now if you want it bad enough. But a lot of you motherfuckers just don't want it. Unless you're committed 100%, you just aren't going to make it. The processes of success are always inconvenient in the beginning. They don't stay that way. If you stick with it, if you give it time, if you work through the inconveniences, they become habit. It's just something automatic. And if you can create automatic actions that are positive in your life, you're going to create automatic winning. No more rationalizing, no more reasons, no more distractions. I dare you to shut out the world. I dare you to give up everything that is keeping you from your dream. F*** the clubs, f*** the partying, f*** the hanging out and getting drunk. Now is the time to stay focused. If it's gonna happen, it's gonna be you that makes it happen. The only motherfucking thing that beats you is you. The only thing that can stop you is you. And most of y'all are not under covenant. And covenant means me and you, if the company go down, we go down with it. We do not retreat. We do not give up. We do not surrender. And the reason why most of you are not successful is because every single time stuff not going your way, you give up, you quit, you let go. And people feel weakness. They feel it. You can feel when somebody's not committed, when they're not all in, when they're not dedicated. And there's another level you get to when you go all in. Everything is a test. Everything as an opportunity, if you allow it to be. You must shrink your focus down to one thing, one business, one focus at one time, and master it and get great at it for an extended period of time. The more you shrink your options in pursuit of your dream, the more it'll open them up in your life later. What are the things that are stealing your focus? Who are the people that are stealing your focus? And begin to eliminate these distractions. Get laser focused and obsessed on what you want. Be starving and hungry to get it. Be desperate to get it. The combination of desperation and hunger with laser focus over an extended period of time is the formula to be great at something. And the only way you prove to yourself that you really want it is that you no longer hit the snooze button. You no longer lose focus when you're studying. You no longer take shortcuts. You no longer playing games. You are willing to do whatever it takes. I'll do whatever it takes to get to that milestone. When you build this mental toughness by looking at every little thing as a test of your will and your ability to do what you say you're going to do, your life is going to get better. And the difference between beast and average people is that average people live from check to check. Average people don't think about their future. They're consumed with the present. You're not going to be the best if you're not intentional and deliberate. You got to be intentional and deliberate. Whether you're making money or not making money, you got to decide that you're going to do something and you got to do it every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday, every Thursday. The problem with some of you in this room, you're not intentional and deliberate. You're a good person and just hope the good stuff is going to happen to you. You got to be a morning person, afternoon person, night person. You gotta be when you feel good person, when you sick person, when you tired person. I'm wired differently. I look at my wife every single day and I said, I gotta grind. I gotta grind for my wife. And so I execute for my mom. I execute for my grandma. I execute for my sister. That's why I can't quit and give up, even though I get tired just like everybody else. You have to be relentless. You have to never let off the gas, never stop, never quit. People who are extremely well accomplished, they have the ability to mentally flip that switch to where they don't have a choice but to do the things they need to do. They will talk as if they don't succeed, the world is going to fucking end. Listen to me, this is how you do it first, with no money, no human resources, no building, no funding, no support. The first thing we did was we dreamed, we wrote the dream down, we slept the dream, we ate the dream, we rehearsed the dream, we looked at the dream, we talked about the dream, we slept with the dream, we woke up to the dream, we wore the dream, and now boom, it's all reality. You want this? You make up your mind. And yes, it's going to be hard, it's going to be difficult, and you get more no's than you do yes, but when you hold out, things will begin to happen, you won't even understand how. And you don't get here by quitting when you're tired, you get here by quitting when you finish, when you're done. You don't stop when you're tired, you stop when you're done. 
You stop when you complete it, when you execute it. Execution is worship. There's a moment when you say to yourself, it can't be done. At some point, everything's going to go south on you. And you're going to say, this is it. This is how I end. Now you can either accept that or you can get to work. You just begin. You do the math. You solve one problem and you solve the next one. Instead of backing down, you push yourself forward into the unknown. Do you realize that every day you thought you wasn't going to make it? Do you remember them days where you thought it was absolutely unbearable and you thought you wasn't going to endure that one? Do you know that your survival rate for every last one of them bad days is 100%? You batting a thousand. You survived every hater. You survived all the evictions. You survived the firings. You survived all the tell you no, we ain't hiring. You survived all the trouble you ever been in. Your survival rate is 100%. You got to proactively prepare to catch yourselves. When you find yourself getting negative with people that you have allowed to push your buttons, when you find yourself becoming negative about what's happening to you and the circumstances that you're involved in. This belongs to you. This is yours. You're the captain. You're the master. You're the foreman. You're the general. You're the head. Don't give control of this to nobody. You're going to hit a wall. Everybody hits the wall. And that wall shocked some people. That wall knocked the life out of some people. That wall discouraged some people. The wall is painful. Some will choose to go back. But there's some small number who, when they hit that wall, they decide, wait a minute, I'm supposed to be over there. This person doesn't care about the pain. Because this person knows something. There's no gain without pain. So this person comes back anyhow, again and again and again. And if you keep on hitting that wall, here's what happens to you, that you will have an incredible breakthrough. And it's as if the universe says, let's help him out. I admire that kind of tenacity. Let's give her a hand. Let's send her assistance, send her resources. It will come out of nowhere. As you're working times with tears falling down your face, and you'll look back on the times and you will cherish those times. Whatever storm you found yourself in today, don't give up. And I know it hurts. And I know you don't want to take it anymore. Your dreams look like you're seeing them from underwater. But don't give up. You have not seen the best days of your life yet. But you have to start living your life in expectation. You have got to start expecting great things to happen for you in order for it to happen. If you live your life in expectations, that's what happens to you. If you live your life in despair, that's what happens to you. Say this to yourself every day. It's not over until I win. It's not over till I get through. It's not over till I get over. It's not over till I get what I want. Door can't open a day. Look out. I'm going to come back and take the hinges off. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how we must be. No guts, no glory. You've got to be willing to face rejection and no again and again and again. Defeat again and again and again. And every time life knocks you down, you jump up and say, It's not over until I win. It's not over. Oh, it's not over yet. Don't count me out yet. It's you, ladies and gentlemen. You've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen. Nobody's going to care more about your dream than you. No one is going to care more about you becoming diamond than you. If you want to make it happen, it's you. But you've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen. I'm speaking to the people who want more. The people who want to be the f***ing pinnacle. The people who want to be accomplished. The people who want to make a f***ing difference. You guys are going to have to go all the f***ing in. Make a 100% commitment to give the best effort you've ever given to outwork, out-improve, out-strategize, outlast like never before. You can't be motivated anymore. You don't need others to motivate you. You have to be self-motivated. You have to dedicate every f***ing breath, every f***ing ounce of energy, and every f***ing thought and effort that you possibly have in your heart 
to becoming what it is you want to be. If you really want to make an impact, you're going to get a lot of judgment, you're going to get a lot of hate, people are going to just diss on you, people are going to say who do you think you are. If no one thinks you're crazy, you're not yet operating to the outer limits of your potential. I actually appreciate my haters. My haters keep me grinding. I tell them all the time, if you want to pay attention to success, watch me. A lion never negotiates with a hyena. He ain't waking up in the morning and saying, I'm going to go hang out with some hyenas. Because he don't concern himself with the conversations of hyenas. An eagle flies at a certain altitude. And the only other bird flies at that altitude is another eagle. So if he find himself flocking with pigeons, he may be flying too low. See, sometimes we asking ourselves, why my friends treating me like this? You hanging out with pigeons. Why are they talking about me like this? Man, you hanging out with pigeons. The Eagles ain't got time to gossip. Kings don't gossip. Fools party. Kids. Some people are born with extraordinary size, strength, speed, and talent. But without determination, that talent never flourishes. At the end of the day, talent will not win the game. It is work ethic that will win the game. No one is born a world champion. The successful do what they must, what they can to be the best, to be number one. You need to get so busy, so consumed, so obsessed with activity that you don't know about the celebrities that are getting a divorce. Like, who cares, man? Why? Because I'm too damn busy, dude. Your success is going to come from activity, from being obsessed, from being like so into it that you lose track of time. It is this type of determination that just happens to build tremendous confidence. Confidence in knowing that most likely your competitors are not doing the same sacrifices. Determination gives you that mental edge. Life is going to test that will every time. Life is going to see how bad you want what you say you want. People think commitment is just saying, yes, I'll do it. Because the environment is right and it's cute. But what commitment is, commitment is staying true to what you said you were going to do long after the mood that you have set it in has left. Meaning when you don't feel like getting up in the morning, you get your butt up in the morning, you do what you said you were going to do anyway. Meaning when you don't feel like sacrificing, you get your butt up and you sacrifice anyway. Meaning when you don't feel like being dedicated to it, you stay your butt dedicated anyway because you understand what the process will go on to produce later on in your life. And we have to get to the point where we're willing to impose our will on certain things. Impose your will on it. Life will give in to you if it knows you're serious about whatever it is that you're trying to do. Life will give in to you. But it boils down to it, I'm a go-getter and I'm a flat-out go-getter. And nothing will not stop me from getting it. Enough may not be enough. 50 cars might not be enough. 120 might not be enough. I don't know. I'm just telling you that sometimes enough is not enough. And so what do you have to do? You got to dig deep and find more. It takes energy and it takes effort. That's all you need to do to be successful. You need to put more energy into what you're doing than anybody else. So you're getting up at 4 and it ain't working. Get up at 3.30. So you read the book once and you didn't get it. Read it twice. Read it three times. I don't care what happened yesterday when you got up. If your dream ain't a reality, don't give up. Don't give in. I just want you to go a little harder. Put forth a little bit more energy. Give me a little bit more effort. But don't give up and don't give in. There's going to be some struggles. Are you hearing me? Without struggle, there is no progress. But I'm telling you, you can do it. You can make it happen. If you can focus your mind on it, you can change it. You don't like the way your life is going. You have the power to change it. You don't have to be a failure. You don't have to be a quitter. You don't have to be anything. You don't want to be. As long as you decide to change your mind. You got to get to the point in your life where you say, I have had it. I've had it with going in a restaurant, looking on one side to see what I want to eat, and then look on the other side to see what I could afford. I'd had it living like that. I'd had it borrowing money from people. I'd had it living like a cringing animal. When you don't have any money, it runs your blood pressure up. You hear me? And you've got to decide, I have had it. I'm not going to live like this anymore. Let me tell you something. You deserve it. You deserve a better life. There is more to your life than you've been living. You deserve it. When you commit yourself to do better, that's the moment you start to see real change. 
You better be committed or you ain't gonna make it. You have to be committed through the storm and the rain and the heartache and the pain and the disappointment. It's a commitment. It's not a feeling. Commitments don't have nothing to do with your feelings. You do it because you're supposed to. Your feelings will never cooperate with your dreams. Beat your feelings into captivity because when you beat your feelings into captivity, that is what discipline is. The very first level is you seeing it. You gotta know what it looks like, tastes like, feel like. Because you don't, you're gonna compromise. Find those goals that mean something to you. Write them out, read them every day. Develop a plan of action. Make up your mind that you have the power within yourself to reinvent you. You've got to work on it. When other folk are having a good time, you've got to have the strength of character to concentrate, to read, to digest information. If you want it bad enough, nothing's going to stop you. Not fear, not somebody's opinion, not how hard your childhood was, not self-doubt, nothing will stop you. You can do what you put your mind to. And if you continue to put your mind to it, the game opens up new levels. And each new level that gets opened up, you're able to adapt a different mindset and a different approach. You can stop at that level or you can go, I want more levels. I want more fucking levels. You can make every dream you've ever had a reality, but you've got to be willing to stand and fight for it. You've got to be willing to give up your time for it. Give up your peace, give up your blood, give up your sweat, give up your tears. Give every single thing you possibly can to that dream. And you think greatness goes on sale, but true quality never goes on sale. The only thing that goes on sale is cheap stuff. The real high quality stuff, it costs what it costs. They're not trying to get somebody average to buy it. You got to have a certain amount of money or you ought not to be in here. Greatness costs what it costs. There is a price tag to greatness. Nobody's gonna hand it to you. You've gotta grind for it. You've gotta stick with that thing for as long as it takes and pay whatever price is required. And while you're suffering from self-doubt, other people are intimidated by your full potential. If your past self could see where you're at today, think of how impressed they would be. One of the greatest ways you can overcome self-doubt is to realize how far you've come. Maybe you're not exactly where you want to be, but you're a lot better than where you were. And the key is to wake up every single day, put one foot in front of the other, keep moving, and keep growing. You gotta have some strong reasons for why you're doing this because when you get out into the arena of life, you're gonna get your ass kicked and your reasons will be the only thing that will keep you going. When the dream is worth it to you, you'll go through hell to get it. Who cares how long it takes? What matters is that if it's something that gives your life value, you'll do whatever's required. When you feel that it's worth it, you don't need any guarantees if things will work out. You don't need to know the outcome because you know that you'll either find a way or make a way. When it's worth it, you exert greater effort and greater effort releases the creative genius in you. When you go up in there and you start going at it passionately and working with it and working with it and working with it it will reveal its secrets to you and you discover things about yourself that you don't know right now